Whatever you're eating outside is going to be melting because yes. we're looking at very hot conditions out there for today. Live look outside, Sayota Audubon Sky Cam, nice and friendly looking, right? But we're actually tracking some very hot conditions and we're talking about some thunderstorms. Now, current temperatures right now, it is 85 in the city of Columbus, 87 down in Circleville, but the feels like is much hotter than that. It feels more like 92 in Columbus and 93 in Circleville, feeling as hot as 94 currently in Washington. Courthouse. Now it has everything to do with high pressure anchored off the East Coast. Those southerly winds continuing to drive in the heat and the humidity for the remainder of the week. So what you get is uh, basically some hot conditions and now it's also going to be the first official heat wave of the summer. Looking at highs to be in the 90s starting with today, continuing into Thursday and Friday. Friday will be the hottest day by far, 94 the official high temperature, 90 on Saturday before we cool off a little bit heading into Sunday. Now remember, it's not just the air temperature that you have to worry about. We're also talking about the heat index, what it actually feels like outside. The hottest two days will be Thursday and Friday as far as the feels like 101 is what it will feel like on your skin. There is one thing that Mother Nature will give us when we heat up like this, and that is the potential for thunderstorms. It kind of goes hand in hand this time of the year. Now, as far as that is concerned, though, we're also looking at the possibility of some stronger storms as we go through the evening hours and heading into tonight. Latest look at the Storm Prediction Center does actually move the likely category, this yellow shade, a little bit further into sections of Franklin County. So the city of Columbus now is more likely to see some of those stronger storms later on today. Now, will they be behave and will they actually become severe? There's a couple of things that we're watching here behind the scenes, but this is the main line of storms you can actually see or the first line of storms about 160 miles away from us here in Columbus. So we'll have to wait and see if these hold together and how much available energy that our atmosphere does have out there. Of course, looking outside, we got the sunshine, one of uh, storms favorite ingredients. So it is looking likely we'll have storms. The biggest question is, are they going to be severe? If they are severe, they would have some strong winds along with them. So here's our hour by hour forecast. We do have the winds coming in from the south as we go throughout this afternoon. This is our high resolution model by six. Here comes the first line of storms between the hours of six and seven. This first line would be moving through the city of Columbus. Now it kind of marches its way off to the east and then heading towards overnight tonight. We'll likely have some stragglers, some leftover showers and thunderstorms heading towards there's 3 a.m. The main line begins to roll through and then eventually as we're going into when you wake up watching wake up sea bus tomorrow morning will likely have a couple of leftover storms around across the area. So a little stormy. Hopefully they're non severe, but if they are, they'll probably have some stronger winds. So if you do have a thunderstorm in your backyard, just be extra careful. Go inside just to be safe and uh, sure about that. Now for tomorrow, it looks like we should be dry in the 90s. We cool off though by Sunday.